solving equations and inequalities involving absolute values using the TI-89 calculator. We're going to take a look at three different examples. Solving the absolute value of a number or expression, have that set to equal some other number. Solving the absolute value of a number or expression greater than or equal to another number. Solving the absolute value of a number or expression less than or equal to another number. Let's take a look at the first one. First we'll do it by hand and then we'll later we'll do it in the calculator. For this example we're going to do 4 plus 5 times the absolute value of x plus 1 equals 19. First thing you want to do is isolate the absolute value on one side of the equation. So we'll subtract the minus 4 on both sides. And that's going to give us 5 times the absolute value of x plus 1 equals 15. Now we'll divide both sides by 5. These fives cancel, and so we have the absolute value of x plus 1 equals 3. Now that we have the absolute value isolated, we're going to solve for two equations. x plus 1 equals 3, or x plus 1 equals a negative 3. For this equation, we'll minus 1 on both sides. That's going to give us x equals 2, and for the other equation, minus 1 on both sides. That's going to give us a x equals a negative 4. Now let's take a look how to do that on the TI-89 graphing calculator. Remember our original equation was 4 plus 5 times the absolute value of x plus 1 equals 19. The TI-89 uh, calculator, we're going to begin by entering this equation in. You want to hit F2 then this drop down box drops down. Then we want to choose number one here, solve. Choose solve by hitting the enter key. There it is. Now just start typing in your equation. Four plus five times. There it is. Now we have to input this absolute value part. To input the absolute value part we have to go to second math, which is this second blue key, hit that first, and then hit this blue math, which is the 5 key. Then this drop-down box appears. We want to choose number, which is this number 1. Just hit your enter key. Then this drop-down box appears. We want to choose number 2 here, which is ABS, which stands for absolute value. So scroll down, highlight the APS, and then hit enter. There it is, APS. Now enter x plus 1 close parentheses, equals 19. But we're not done. You have to enter comma x, close parentheses. This lets the uh, calculator know that we're going to be solving for x. Now hit enter on the calculator to find the solution. And there it is, the solution. x equals negative 4, or x equals 2. Okay, let's talk about real quickly if you have an absolute value equation that's equal to a negative number. We'll change our uh, 19 to negative 19 in this example and we'll plug that into our calculator. Well after we do our calculations and we we want to isolate the absolute value on one side which we did here so now we have a absolute value that equals a negative number. Well because the absolute value is always going to be positive there's not going to be no solution for this equation. That's why your calculator is going to produce the reading false. So if you run into that, that's the reason why your calculator says false when you're trying to do an absolute value equation to a negative number. Okay, go to part two of this video and we're going to see how to solve absolute value inequality greater than or equal to a number. Doing it both manually and using the TI-89 calculator. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.